Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, my guy, Young O36, just recently, the other day, dropped his long awaited project called Greek Week. And it's eight songs long, 23 minutes. And the intro is hard. I don't know how to pronounce that word, Penel King, but hey, that's a hard ass intro. And honestly, this is a really different project because I know, bro, as a rapper, but I wouldn't say this is a rap project. Cause the B selection is different. Cause honestly, it do wanted to go towards like new wave pop type music. I could see him on those type of beats. Cause it is this project. It has like it has like a rap undertone. Like it started off with it starts with rap concepts, but it branches out. Where it's not completely like what you expect whenever you hear a rap album, if you get my drift, and it really makes sense if you if you check out a uh, bro's demographic and how how his music has been progressing. It's Greek Week. He has a big fan base whenever it comes to um sororities. So the fact that it's not like. I guess it's not trap music yet. Yeah, that's what I want to say. It's not like trap rap music. It's it's like a different genre of it, and it's different. And I really like the fact that yo, know, it's not just constant similar 808s going through that you hear in like everybody else's project. He he has his own little style to it. So we're gonna continue. I will, I really like uh the first. The first four songs that start the project, the intro for Nell King, G5 Anthem, uh, Can't Talk with the uh, Tri Delta and Six Zetas and the Benz. Yeah. The first four songs on that, those are all hard. Um, I really like the G5 Anthem too. That song go, that song hard, that song hard. And then uh, First and Fine, I'd say that's my least favorite song on the project. Not that it's even a bad song. Like, to me personally, whenever I was listening to it, it was like, ah. It, it sounded kind of off, but I can I can see where where bro was going with it for sure for sure on that song I could see where he was coming from. Um, Three a.m. in College Station. I want to listen to that song drunk because it I I don't know what the sound is, but it, the major sound in there it sound um similar to old like disco records or. It sound like a, a club song where it's like, whoa, <laughs> I, I want to dance to it, but there's not a specific sound that I want to dance to. I just want to dance, dance to like every song, not every sound in the song, because <laughs> like I said, the, the production in this is different. It, you can tell his delivery sounds like rap, but the beat selections don't sound like typical rap beats. Then the last two songs, College Ave, uh, that's one of the best songs on the project as well. And just how the song sounds, it sounds like a radio song. I could see that song getting radio play. I is it got a cool vibe to it. It sounds like a day party type song. Like if you got a day party and you playing that, <laughs> it sound amazing. Like next year, whenever summer come back, pool parties. College app sound like a pool party type song, for sure. Cause, like, just 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 the vibe on that hoe, I, I like it a lot. And then meet me at the square, bitch. Don't take my ID. <laughs> that was my favorite part, bro. Did this nigga really take my ID? <laughs> and then I like the transitions. Uh, how he had um different people from different colleges all calling in saying, "Hey, you tuned into O three six Radio," and just small things like that in between transitioning from song to song it helped bring the project together overall i was a fan of the whole project um again my favorite songs are college ave uh g5 anthem and the intro of Fennel king but the whole project for sure rides um again i'm gonna get back to y'all if i ever get to listen to 3 a.m a college station drunk but uh, as of now this is a good project um 
And again, like I was saying, when you look at his demographic and the fact that he big in sororities, the fact that he's giving all these sororities anthems, that's that's good marketing. Cause you you gotta understand, part the biggest part of music is the marketing and him knowing his target audience. This is a great project, especially for that target audience. And then on the on the fact that yeah, it has that it has rap elements to it, but it don't necessarily sound like a rap project. I like that part too because especially if you're trying to have songs that can be played at parties and stuff, you you need to be more versatile for your environment. Cause whenever if you if you partying with niggas, bro, yeah, you can for sure have crazy eight oh eights going going the whole the whole time and nobody gonna care. But whenever you get to a more diverse mixed group of people, you need different sounding songs. And the fact that he's able to deliver it with all these different sounding songs, yeah, this is a really good project. Y'all should go check it out. Again, Greek Week by Young036. Y'all need to go check it out. Like, comment, sub to the channel and everything and go fuck with my nigga 036.